this camper here is a 2008 it's an Aspen by Frontier RV it's 36 feet with three slide outs I'll walk around it the outsides in average condition uh, no delamination uh, somebody just recoated the entire roof on this camper and it looks really good up there it does have a little bit of it's got these black decals and whenever you have black on the side of these RVs if they sit in the Sun uh, they start to crack but uh, it's it's almost unavoidable but I'm gonna show it to you I'd like to show the negatives as well as the positives in any camper you can see here the the decal is just cracked it's not peeling it's just cracked from the Sun let me walk around the back of it uh, the camper doesn't have any damage on the outside it's never been in any kind of a collision or anything like that we've had a couple in here where people backed into things and if there's anything like that I'll be sure to show you this here is the third slide out on the front here like I said the roof and the structure of this RV is in excellent condition uh, just the decals have some cracks in them you can see right there uh, the Sun got to it but other than that, uh, pretty nice shape. Again, it's a 2008, 36 feet overall. And we'll go ahead and take you inside. This does have the easy turn technology, they call it, uh, where it's cut out in the front here for short bed trucks. Uh, we'll go ahead inside and I'll get you to wait and, and show you around a bit. Again, uh, 2008 Aspen 36 foot. As we go inside, okay, it's a F33RLS. And I'm going to show you as much as I can about it. Uh, when you first walk in, you have this linoleum floor. Uh, right to my right here is just some storage cabinets. Okay, directly across from the entrance is a big closet that will house a washer and dryer. It has the dryer vent right there and the plumbing is down here. It's a little dark in here. Uh, it's early in the morning and it does have a lot of dark wood in here so that kind of darkens it up some anyway this is the general layout you have your kitchen right here to the left there's your microwave and sink lots of cabinets nice high ceilings in here it is wired for surround sound right here is a nice uh, oak table and four chairs this here is the super slide and it has a, a sofa bed there's a couple brown leather recliners back there camper is great for if you need something to stay in lots of room I mean it's it's a very roomy camper we did replace the carpets in here and it's got a nice big desk nice office area These uh, recliners are brand new. Uh, that's a brown, brown leather like. I'm sure it's not real leather, but uh, they're brand new recliners. They're rocker recliners, which is nice. And let me spin around here and show it to you. Again, 36 foot, three slide outs. And this is the basic general layout. This is equipped with two air conditioners which is a bonus for these bigger RVs you walk up in the front area here's your double door refrigerator right next to the washer and dryer closet you have a couple steps that goes up up to the top side and as we go up into the top side you can see here it's got a king-size bed which is very nice 
if you need more room. Anyway, I'm six foot three and my head's not hitting the ceiling. Both air conditioners are on a thermostat. So this, this second air conditioner here is not a direct discharge air. Uh, it, is, it is thermostated, which is nice. Which uh, anybody that's had an RV with two air conditioners, you, uh, uh, you can have one part of the RV where it's absolutely freezing cold and it'll be warm in the other section. But when you have a thermostat, it definitely makes it a lot better. This here is uh, where you would put a, your second television. Uh, it kind of just sits in here and swivels closed. Um, if you don't want to put a TV in there, you could just put a panel in here and make another closet. And Personally, I would probably have the TV right here on the dresser. Anyway, this is uh, a nice wardrobe closet. Uh, somebody put some shelving in there. Anyway, there's no water damage in this camper. It's clean. And it's not perfect. This camera. This ca I tell you, i got to get an up, up, upgraded camera because this thing sure as heck doesn't like to focus uh, when I want it to. Anyway, here's your corner shower. Got a little privacy curtain. You have linoleum here when you get out of the shower, which is nice. This camper does show signs that it's been used, but it's uh, in nice condition. Whoop. And there's your commode. Here we go again with this focus. If anybody out there has a suggestion for a good camera, uh, feel free to let me know. Because uh, this one, although it does the job, doesn't like to keep up with me. I don't know if it's the temperature or what. There we go again. We'll get that fixed. Anyway, my name is George, and my phone number will be in the ad. Oh, let me get the weight for you on this camper. I'm going to shut this video off and locate that and get right back to you. Okay, 10,640 pounds is the unloaded vehicle weight. And again, it's a nice, big, roomy 2008 Aspen by Frontier RV. It does have all the day-night shades. They all seem to be intact. And if you want to come take a look at this, I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Give me a call. Again, my name is George, and my phone number will be in the ad. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.